now let's move on to one of the most important parts of the beginning of making your rock, and that is getting your metal. Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. Playing rock crap. I mean, the one from Top Making a NASA work types of metal. From glass, copper, tin, aluminum, iron, steel, and bronze. Now, to make this, it's quite simply just two ingots of that metal and open press it into one sheet. So it's same for tin, aluminum, and even iron. But to make steel and bronze, it's a little bit trickier. For steel, you'll take a pressed iron and two coal to make one steel plate. For bronze, you'll take one pressed copper and tin to get one bronze plate. So it's a little bit different uh, way of making this. Now, you'll see this whole set of heavy duty gadgets uh, and armor. And to make this, well, it's the same way you make any sort of armor, but you just basically replace all of the metal with the compressed steel. Now, all this is about as effective as iron iron armor or iron tools, but it has a much greater durability compared to iron tools. So, if you want to spend you know, a decent amount of iron and coal to make this, well, then you will be rewarded with the durability negatives. So let's move on to the NASA workbench. And to make this, you're going to need a crafting table, four compressed steel, two levers, a resin torch, and an advanced wafer. Let's go ahead and take this. If we set this down, you'll see that it is awesome looking crafting table for your rocket. You right click on it, it's got this rocket shaped GY, which are these slots and three slots at the top. Now, once you fill all these in with the correct component, you can come out this bottom right. So let's go ahead and take a look at those components. First up, we have the nose component. Make this you're going to need a redstone torch and three heavy duty plates. Now, this is where making a rocket becomes a bit expensive because to make this, you're going to need two compressed bronze, two compressed aluminum, and two compressed steel to make two heavy duty plates. So, you're not only going to need three heavy duty plates for this. You're going to need eight heavy duty plates just in general for the main body. And for four rocket so fins, cute. you're going to need to make two compressed steel, four heavy duty plates just for one fin. So you have to have two fins four times. And then for tier one rocket engine, you need four steel, a button, four of these heavy duty plates, one of those tin or copper canisters, and an oxygen vent. To make this vent, you need three compressed tin and a compressed steel as such. So let's take all four of these parts. And then you're going to need, well, depending on how much storage you want in your rocket, the max is three chests, so let's go ahead and take three. Now, if you come in here, you can just shift and right click and place the parts where they belong. So you got your engine, your way for it, your eight heavy duty plates, and your nose cone. Now, because I want this to have a little storage, just because I can place three chests in there, so it's going to have 56 room storage. And then we have this tier one rocket. Let's go ahead and take Press this. Yeah, you might notice this uh, black thing at the top of my screen, and well, that's because I'm carrying a massive rocket. I don't know if I'm that strong to do that, but it looks pretty cool. But before we move on to launching this, we need to get some fuel for it. So let's go into this launching section. So we're going to first need rocket launch pads. Now, to make this, you're going to need three compressed iron and three blocks of iron, and you'll get the nine launch pads that you need. So let's go ahead and take these. We have a fuel loader and refinery. And this is the time that I should mention that there is a new liquid added into your world called oil. Now we have a little pool of it over here, and it's a very dark liquid. And when you enter it, you're, it's got the same movability as water, but it's a very dark and cloudy look when you're inside it. Okay. So this will commonly spawn in your desert. You can find it anywhere, but it's just mainly in deserts. So to harvest it, it's just like a cool rock. Just right click on it and create a cool bucket. Now to make it an empty canister, you have six compressed tin, compressed steel, a glass, and one of those tin canisters. I'm just going to take three. Cool. And then we need a fuel loader. To make it, you need five compressed copper, three compressed tin, so a basic wafer, and a tin canister. And finally, we're going to need a refiner. Now to make this, you need two copper canisters, two stone, not copper stone, two compressed steel, and a furnace. Take this as well. So once you found some oil, you're going to go to a refinery that you made. Now, I am using this infinite battery just to power all these machines. But you need to use that coal generator and we'll get to batteries and solar panels in the next episode because it's a little more complex. And this is the basic way to get them. So I'm just using this so I don't you know, have to pop a coal generator down every time. But you will have to if you're trying to 
teammates. So, let's take a look at the oil bucket that you placed in, and you can see that it filled this tiny spot with oil. So, you can fill this up quite a bit so it has a lot of time. Now, over here, you see that the fuel tank is slowly filled up. So, it's refining this oil and fuel. Now, if we put the canister on top, you'll see that it's slowly filled up with the fuel that's being placed in. Now, this will fill up to a thousand fuel, and a thousand fuel will completely fill up your rocket. So, the canister will fill up. Now you can use that full rocket to get to the moon and back, but other planets will need more fuel. So you're going to need to take multiple fuel canisters and reload on whatever planet. But for right now, you should be good to just get the moon and back with one canister. I recommend you always take an extra fuel canister and the things that you need to fuel up the rocket, just in case something goes wrong and your fuel disappears or some glitch happens. Because otherwise, you're stuck on the moon. Okay, now we have this filled fuel canister that uh -huh. is completely full. And if we go ahead and place our rocket launch pads down, we need to place it in a 3x3 grid. And you'll see that there's that uh -huh. platform that pops up that means that it is a activated launch pad. So we can go ahead and right click and place our rocket down. Now I'd recommend that you check this pre-launch checklist. And now this will include like one or two things like batteries that I'm going to go over in this episode. But you'll still be able to get to the moon and back but you should still level check it. Check this just because if you go there and you miss something, you're either going to die or not going to be able to come back. So it's pretty serious. Let's take a look at this fuel load. Now, if you set it down with the rocket on your right, you'll notice that there's this circle towards the rocket that means that the fuel is going to go into the rocket. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to place my battery in here to give it energy. And if we take this fuel canister, we'll put fuel in this machine. And as you can see, this bar is slowly going down because it's loading into the rocket. Now, if I right click on the rocket, now it'll say space launch, and you can just turn around with ASD as you can see my rocket's moving, and then G to check inventory and fuel. So, because I had three chests, I had this massive inventory and source equipment, and you can see that my fuel is now at 100%. It's completely loaded. You can press shift to get out of the rocket as well. Now, let's move on to our last chest. This the space gear, oxygen tanks, and all that to survive the moon. Now, if we hit E, that's it's in survival mode, we go to our black craft tab. We'll see I that we have all of the other armor spaces to place our stuff. Now, this top slot is in the black craft main mod right now. It's in another edition. But what I do remember from previous mods is that it adds a shield around you. But for right now, since it's not here, we're not going to talk about it. Now, let's move on to the main gear you're going to need. Starting with the oxygen mask. Now, to make this, you're just going to need an iron helmet and eight glass paint surrounding them. So, let's go ahead and take this. Next, if you're going to want to talk to any of the alien life up there, you're going to need a frequency module. Now, to make this, you're going to need a basic wafer, two redstone, a redstone repeater, two compressed iron, and a compressed aluminum. Let's go ahead and take this. And to use your oxygen, you're going to need your oxygen gear. Now, to make this, you're going to need five fluid pipes and an oxygen concentrator. To make the fluid pipes, you might need to place three glass panes on top and bottom of the craft table. You'll get six of these. And to make the oxygen concentrator, we're going to need four compressed steel, three compressed tin, one of those tin canisters, and an oxygen vent, as I already showed you how to make. Let's go ahead and take this. And then when you come back to Earth, since there's gravity, we're going to need a parachute to stop us from falling. Now, to make this, you're going to need three canvas and three string. And to make canvas, you're going to need five string two sticks to make one canvas. So let's go ahead and take this. If we go on another slot, we're going to place all these on. You can see we have a tiny antenna on top of our head, and we have okay, a glass should be done now. around our head. Now we're going to gather an option. The first one is an option connector. We're going to need two more steel, two compressed aluminum, one of those oxygen concentrators, one of those oxygen vents, tin canister, and an oxygen fan. Steel, base wafer, and a redstone. We're going to take this. Then you're going to need an oxygen compressor to fill your tanks. We're going to make this. You're going to need four compressed steel, three compressed aluminum, compressed bronze, and one of those oxygen concentrators as well. Now we have different types of tanks. We have a light tank, a medium tank, and a heavy oxygen tank. To make a light, we're going to need one canister, one compressed copper, and a line rule at the top. To make a medium, you're going to need two tin canisters, two orange wool, which is a set color of wool that you need. To make a heavy tank, you need the three tin canisters, three compressed steel, and three red wool. I'm going to take one of these empty ones to fill, and I already have one that is full. Now you join me in a little bit different area, because 
except for across the villages like these. Now these aren't completely like normal villages because one, well, they've got some pretty interesting creatures in here. You know, it's villagers with you know large blue heads or there's some sort of alien. So when you're wandering around the moon, now these are pretty 